Pete. We are at Makita in Georgia. Sorry, Matt, didn't mean to cut you off, buddy. And uh, oh, man, definitely appreciate it. How you doing? Good. How are you, man? Thank you. Good to see, good you, to see you again, good. man. All right. Hi. Hey, good to see you again. Howdy, 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 howdy. Hi, how are ya? What's up, Sam? How you doing? Good oh, hey, you. good to see you again. Raw and unfiltered. Today, you guys, we're going to get, we have an exclusive invite to go check out all of the Makita's brand new releases. And we're one of a handful of peoples that got to go behind the scenes. But what I'm doing for you today is I'm going to bring you everything that they show me. I want it to feel like you're just hanging out at this show and getting an exclusive behind the scenes invite to see and feel what it's like as they go on these shows. So I'm taking away all of the glitz, I'm taking away everything, and I just want to bring you along for the ride and get this show rolling. Let's go. Good, all right guys, we're at Makita and I'm going to take you a little bit behind the scenes, but I'm going to this may be one of the longer videos that I make because I'm going to cover absolutely everything that they're going to show on this show. What are we doing? Oh, we're going to get yeah, yeah, yeah. Brett, how are you? <laughs> we're getting pictures, right? Go ahead. Next. All right. Ken. Good to see you, man. Good to see you again, sir. Yes, great to see you. All right. This should be fun. Yeah. Hey, I'm Ken. So this is, uh, I've never been to this place before. Yeah. New facility? No. no. So new. About a year and a half old. Well, we have a day, we, we have new. a brother in, in, in Reno that's about three and a half years old. Same thing. Okay. So, yeah. So we have an East Coast yes, West Coast training center. All right. How you doing, guys? Check, check, check it out. I will. We'll go check it out. So let's just uh, take a peek around and see what we're looking at here. Almost like we're walking into a Makita store. So I'm here to see all of the new stuff. And what the new stuff is. So I have the tea. Is that Sarah Listy? Let's go see if it's Sarah Listy. Is that Sarah Listy? Sarah? Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I was hoping I was going to see you. I was like, where are you? I saw you on the list. I didn't know there was a list. Well, it's like on a CC. So oh. I was like, oh, I see Stan's going to be there. Snoops. Snooping. Yeah, just a little. Just yeah. a little. But not everybody was on the list, too. So I was like, who else is coming? Like, that you're coming. Hot. Yeah. Hot, miserable. But it's it's good. I mean, you know, Texas. Two, we keep it real. Two Girls Garage Instagram. So if you guys are on Instagram, go check Sarah. We're going to go keep checking stuff out. Hey. How are you, Johnny? Good, man. Good Dude, you looked you. really good in that <laughs> league, league of uh, whatever oh, poster. Don't we all, man? <laughs> I, know. All <laughs> I know. Johnny Blades of Grass. So, yeah, they have concrete guys here. They have builders, uh, all sorts of different folks from all different walks of life uh, come to these events. So... Just take a quick peek around and then we're going to dive right into whatever happens next. I don't know what that is. It's a short event though. This is a one day or this is an overnighter. So we fly in today, see everything tomorrow, fly out tomorrow. And there's Vince! <laughs> Come here, little motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, bro? How are Good to you? see you. Good to see you, dude. You want to take a picture? I want to get you while you're hot. <laughs> How you making out? Oh shit! I had you guys facing that way. This is an awesome dude. This is an awesome. Are you live dude. or you are you recording? No, no, right no. Now? I'm just recording. I'm recording. But... Hey, I'm Stan. Nice to meet you. Nice Rufus, to meet you. Nice yeah, to so meet Rufus. you. And yeah. you are. Juliana. You guys know Joe. Canadian carpenter. Brent, you still doing the snowmobile races? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sweet. They have a really cool snowmobile. Makita has a whole yeah. snowmobile team. And it looks like there's food. Colt, how are you, dude? Good, good to see you. Good to see you, buddy. How you been? Excellent. Thank you. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna go snoop, but I promise I will show you everything there is to show you. Austin, what are we looking at now? So what we're doing is we're unveiling our new storage program. This is MacTrack, the next generation in modular storage. It has a lot of different innovations stemming from the horizontal design that allows easy transportation. Using these gecko grip features, you're able to load and unload single-handedly into the back of a truck bed, keeping it underneath this tonneau cover. Next, we know how important access is the ability to open this base box without having to unstack these boxes because the handle's off to the side. You can fit lo longer, larger tools in this unit as well. You can. And organization is also very critical. So as we look at simple features, like what may be seen as a commodity, this storage tray, we've removed the center handle to allow for battery and charger storage, as well as being able to utilize this lid space to customize for different hand tools. And but you designed this to work out of the back of a pickup truck, so you did something fun with the lid. Check Indeed. this out, all right. So this scenario, you're working from the driver's side, but say you're parked on a busy street, you can't access it from the driver's side, you need to come from the curb. With a dual hinging base lid, you're able to access without unstacking from either side of the stack. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. What else are we looking at with this one? So with a modular storage system, it's important to have a bunch of different boxes to be able to fit the different tools and equipment that you're carrying onto your job site. So we have this track connection system for different shapes and size boxes. They're able to stack from either side so you can work from either side just like the dual hinging lid, as well as they're available in different sizes and form factors to keep you organized on the job site. Is there more? There's, there's a lot more. I don't know how much time we want to We do got this, plenty so. of time. I right. want to see everything that this thing can do so these guys can make the right decisions. On the front of the rolling tool chest, there's a cleat mount system that allows you to stick your stack in three towers simultaneously for more storage potential and configurations. We also have, in the same footprint as the medium boxes, a low profile box that is one half the height of the deep boxes and equals when two and a half are stacked together, one extra large extension toolbox. So now you can cross stack between them. So let's all see how, while, you also have the, the two, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, what were you saying, Austin? Again, all the while still being able to open with this whole stack. So that was the concept with this su suitcase, like rolling suitcase, you call it the rolling toolbox, right? Or tool chest. Rolling tool chest is to be able to access the, the tools in the bottom and not pull apart the entire system. Correct. Okay, now you did something interesting with the actual tool chests as well, each individual storage container. Will you show me that? With the connectability, you're able to stack in different configurations, different heights, as well as span between the two when you have different footprints. And then the organization, the depth of the organization, you've also created it so that each tray lines up with the lid. Correct, yeah, you don't want parts traveling from bin to bin. We have five inch deep bins that are great for large decking screws and uh, carriage bolts and so forth, so for large fasteners, as well as the ability with the optional accessories to partition this bin into four separate compartments, allowing you to add more versatility to each organizer. No, is this out? No, it's, it's launching shortly. We're going live today. Uh, you heard it here first, probably. When does this come out? Uh, coming out this fall, fall awesome. 2024. Thank you. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. All right, Tommy, what are we looking at with this now? What we're looking at with this is what we call ABT, or anti-vibration technology. It is a true counterbalance mechanism. Uh, one of the things people don't think about is, is uh, less vibration, what vibration does to you in your hands and creating fatigue. It gives you really more control as you're doing the process itself. 
Okay, and show me the Starlock system. Yeah, Starlock's really cool. So, um, the Starlock, very easy, it's all toolless. You have this little clamp up top, you simply open up. This allows you to access and pull out uh, the holder piece here. So that way when you're ready to replace, simply place your new blade, put the lock down in place, and then click it, and now you're ready to go. Very simple. And then you have an adjustable dial in here? Yeah, so depending on the type of material, you can adjust your speed. So okay. everything from six all the way down to one. All right, and can you demonstrate a cut for me? Yeah, absolutely, be glad to. When is this coming out, Tommy? This will be, this will be coming out in Q1. Q1, all right, thank you. All right, thanks, sir. All right, Michael, what are we looking at with this one now? Uh, Makita's new two and a quarter horsepower XGT router, so you've got 30% less weight than a corded version, but you're now running it on a battery, so you're not having to pull that cord around. Uh, it's got a lot of great features, including variable speed. It has a half inch, quarter inch collets included, and it has dust collection by Bluetooth right on the side. You see it run? Yes. <laughs> When does this come out, Mike? Michael? Uh, it comes out this this quarter. Do you know the price point on them? I don't. Okay. All right. Thank you. Just for your. All right, Larry. What are we looking at with this one now? So this is our new XGT nine-inch power cutter. Um, lightweight, forty-five percent less vibration than our previous model, and also, excuse me, forty-five percent more power than our previous LXT version and 55% less vibration. Now this is uh, out, coming out? Or? It's coming out, due to be launched in November. Awesome, okay, and it runs off the 40 volt platform? It runs off the XGT 40 volt platform. All has right. A, has an adjustable hood for versatility, built-in water supply to protect the hose. Can we see it run? Absolutely. All right, guys, I know I told you raw and unfiltered, but as soon as he started cutting into that block and then the jackhammer behind me started going, the camera started to go wonky and just started to scream in my ear. And I didn't want to put you guys through that. So I'm cutting the volume on this just a little bit, just so you guys know to be 100% fair and square. And that runs off a nine volt, a nine inch blade, right? This is a nine inch blade. We have it with our new nine inch diamond blades with a thinner kerf to maximize the efficiency of the battery platform. And the water system will uh, go from the big boy down to the little one with no, no special adapters needed. No, no special adapters needed. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, guys. I've got Sean, and you are the president of Makita. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a, just a couple questions for you. How many people globally do you guys employ? Uh, 18,000. 18,000 people yeah. globally. How many um, people in the United States do you employ? Uh, around 600 for oh. sales and distribution side of business. Okay. And around 200 for production side of business. Okay, so you get around 800 inside of the United States That's that Nikita right. takes care of full time. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any manufacturing plants in the United States? Yes, we have a, a production plant in uh, Buford in Georgia. Okay. Yes. And I know we are at, now this is not a production plant. What is this? Uh, this is a training facility. Okay. And uh, behind this uh, building, uh, we have a distribution center. Okay. And a factory service center and the customer service. So you have, do you know how many distribution centers you have? Because you have a lot of distribution centers in the United States. Uh, no, really. I mean, we, we have three main distribution centers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three big ones. Big ones, yes. Big ones. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And um, 
that's all I got for you. Thank okay, you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Appreciate it. That Thank wasn't you. too rough, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let's keep going and find the next cool product. Uh -huh. Thanks, Sean. Good. Good. Thank you. Cole, what is this that we're looking at behind you right here? So we're showing what a pro trucker trailer can look like with a full conversion to battery powered outdoor power equipment. Okay, but now the biggest problem that guys have with outdoor power equipment is run time. Yes. And lack of it. It's not about power because we know the battery, the torque and everything else does a phenomenal job with that, but they don't want the run time issues. Did you ever bring get, solve that problem? Yes, so there's a, a couple different solutions. The first thing that I wanna talk about is the fact that when it comes to a runtime solve, we're working on two different battery styles when it comes to outdoor power equipment. You've got your XGT 40 volt slide style here, and then we also have a bigger backpack battery style. So this one's gonna be great for your high demand products like mowing and blowing. When you're moving air, we're gonna recommend a bigger gas tank essentially. This is gonna be a bigger battery for those high demand applications. Okay, but now let's go over here because this is where you're telling me that you have a backpack blower that will get two and a half hours. It'll be about hours. two hours of runtime on this 25 Newton blower. Two hours. And then it can be up to four hours on this. So this is kind of your experienced runtime. We tested it with pros in the field and we're recommending, hey, feather the trigger, dial it back. If you have grass clippings, you don't need to go full bore on it. Like with gas in the past, you'd go full bore to basically keep it from gumming up and be able to function appropriately. Now a lot of our tested users are, hey, this is me with pauses in between on the trigger. This is me dialing back the runtime when I don't need to. So this is average experience runtime we're seeing. And now you've taken the same battery because this is the battery for the backpack blowers. Yes. And now you've created a system that can charge up the 40 volt system Absolutely. from one to the other. So if a guy has one or the other, he can Basically what you want to think of it is this is kind of your available power in the field. So it can charge, if you're using this backpack battery right here, it can charge seven of these batteries. So instead of managing 14 of these batteries in the field, you can go ahead and only manage seven batteries. So it's going to be a great asset management tool, but also think of it as if you're in the field that day and you normally use 10 batteries a day, but there's a lot of rain, then you can go ahead and use that as like your safety solution. If you kept a gas tank on the truck before, that's how you're gonna keep your extra batteries on the truck. And you have a new hedge trimmer? We do. So our new hedge trimmer is a short shaft articulating pole hedge trimmer. Again, it's on that 40 volt platform. Really excited about this because on high with that four amp hour battery, since we're talking runtime, that's gonna actually run 65 minutes while a tank of gas, essentially for a comparable gas head trimmer is gonna run about 43 minutes. So we're beating gas Wait a minute, now. you're telling me this is gonna run 65 minutes? 65 minutes that. on high. Well, that's a hedge trimmer though. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, they don't, they hedge don't take much. Hedge trimmer runtime's great. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't take much juice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now power. How does the backpack, those are new backpack blowers? Yes, new backpack blowers over how, here. how does the power work? I mean, how, what are we looking at for power on it? Power, uh, with the backpack blowers, we're always talking in newtons to talk about the amount of cleanup work you do. So 22 newtons, 25 newtons, like your mid-range power compared to say like 41 newtons is crazy fall leaf cleanup. Will you put it on and do a demonstration Absolutely. for me? Absolutely. It's like 83 degrees off and she's wearing a freaking coat. But I don't know, maybe she's from, I think Florida or something. Not, not, not hot enough here for you. California, we get cold easily. <laughs> All right. So what is that what does that unit weigh? Do you know Nicole? Yeah, so this unit is gonna weigh, it's gonna be around the 40 pound kind of range. So that was one of the big things that we did with this is we have equipped it with a hip straps essentially. Yeah, so you got the hip strap there for comfort. Um, Think of it like a backpacking backpack. You're gonna be more comfortable if you're utilizing all of the straps on it. Yeah. So we've got hip straps, chest straps. Really important too as load lifters to be able to pull this weight up against you. We're doing rocks instead of leaves because I don't want them blowing up all over the place. <laughs> now, I see you have a steel BR430 over here. Why do you have that? in this bin is there a reason is so it comparable it's going or to be a decently comparable 
power rating, this is gonna be a little more 26 newtons, but it's just to talk to the noise. So hopefully she's still warmed up. The noise and the smell. Exactly. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, when does that battery system come out? How this is, is going to be going out? live on our website on October 2nd. Okay, so it's coming out October 2nd yes. of this year in a couple days. Absolutely. Do you know what the price point of that would be? <sighs> price point, it's going to kind of depend on which dealer that you're working with, but I would talk to your local Makita dealer and they'll be able to give you pricing on it. Thanks, Nicole. Absolutely. This is new too, right? This is new as well. 35cc power equivalent edger. Okay, let me see it operate. You'll get much cleaner, crispier edges than a string trimmer. When is this coming out? This one is going to be out October 2nd. Okay, so a lot of stuff uh, dro dropping on October oh, 2nd. Oh yeah, we're getting all the fall things released for outdoor power equipment. Go. All right, Nicole, what are we looking at with this now? So we're actually cutting hard wooden dowels. That's gonna be a lot more of an aggressive application than green wood. And those dowels go up to three quarter of an inch there. Yeah, you're good. How do you like this one, Miguel? Pretty good. Yeah, is it heavy? I think so. Let's try one more time. Hi, right, Rufus. Uh, Tell me about this. What are we looking at with this so, now? Get my earplugs out. This is our GMH04 70 pound breaker hammer. And uh, actually, first day on the market, so we're very excited. So a couple things, if you think of the staple that's out in the industry or corded, from a corded perspective is Bosch. We're gonna have 70% faster breaking efficiency than corded hammers. And one thing we pride ourselves on with XGT is power. So we're gonna have 73 joules versus our competition with Milwaukee at 67 joules and Bosch at 58 joules. Can you pop a battery out of there? So you're telling me that runs on two batteries. Two 8 amp. Decide that way. 40 volt batteries. Straight up. There you go. That's the Man, key to make this thing run. Yep. And this is out today. It actually launches today. So just to give you some pricing information, we have a two battery kit that'll run $25.99. And we'll actually have a four battery kit that'll run you $31.49. Thank you, sir. Brandon, this is new by Makita? Yeah, absolutely. What is it? This is our XGT 40 volt, 25 and a half inch sweeper vac. So what you have here is a combination, brushes underneath the sweep and on the side here for edging. And then inside there's a vacuum that takes that dust to stir it up, ejects it back into the container. Okay. How is this different than these? Because these have been out for a long time absolutely. and all different itinerations of this. What makes this better? So a couple things. The only thing close to this in the market right now is Karcher. Yep. It has a built-in battery, it's not a replaceable battery. Uh -huh. So this can play in your XGT system. You put on your drill, your impact, your power cut, and everything else you do with your job. The other thing is 93,000 square feet on a charge. It's about two football fields worth of work. <laughs> so you imagine for an average person, that's a hell of a day. <laughs> that is a hell of a day. Yeah. All right, let's watch your operative. All right, let's turn her on. So you're fully adjustable on the back. The back can be off because the brushes are doing the work. Quiet or la or full. The brushes can be on low or high. That's right in case they're in the warehouse space or other gym or spaces. And because it's HEPA, you have a filter cleaner. What's that doing is shaking the HEPA filter so all the dust and debris clears out. It helps that filter last a lot longer. Oh. But this also what makes it dry. Because it's HEPA, you can't in introduce water into it. Okay, okay, got it. And then of course your battery indicator. It is 40 volt but it'll hold two 8 amp power batteries, so you get that runtime. It automatically switches when the one runs dead. So, you also have your power on for your side brush. 
And the adjustable height here for that. The adjustable height for the rollers is here, and there's your indicator where it's at. Oh, so, so you have a lot more adjustability yeah. with this. This is not a one and you're done. You, this is what you get. Don't have a fit. You can make this for your situation. So if you're on a tilt-up pour job and you've got fine concrete tilt to dust, you've got to make it manage. Take it all the way down to get every little bit of it out. So and on the flip side, yeah. if you have big debris, crank it up. It allows that space under the brushes to suck it up into the container. That, that is nice. Yeah, it's convenient. Uh, all right. What are we cleaning, Brandon? So this is a, a dusting. It's what it's designed to do. It's by Zep. It bonds with the dirt to prevent the dust from going airborne as much as possible. So it's also very fine, though, so it's a great example of this. OK. So if not on a job site, as you know, dust is a nightmare. Yep. If you use a blower or a broom, you're just introducing it into the air. As you can see here, between the back and the brushes, almost zero exposure. Yeah, but you're not moving. Yep. So I want to see it. I want to see it move, and so then you tell me about how it's not shut that making dust. By the edge. Okay. All that's going to do is kick up a mess of dust if you're not by an edge. Okay. By a wall, which we'll do in a minute. So it puts it right under your roller. So it's very convenient. So what you're doing with this fine particulate here? You take it all the way down. a little bigger, let's take it up. This is going to be able to pick up water bottles, cans, small chunks of concrete, wood blocks, larger piles of debris. So the foot foot the step, then you hear the blow. There we go. Just like that. Now when you lift the rollers up, you get a little more fine debris left over there. Because you're lifting them up to get that bigger debris, so you make another pass at a lower setting. Get it nice and clean. So you raise and lower it depending on the kind of dirt you have and Absolutely. the kind of conditions you're in. Yep. But you promised me the wall. Yep. Do it. because I want to see how well this sucks up this material. You'll notice it's throwing it right back in front of it. That enables the main body rollers to push it up into the vacuum. So you'll notice, even down in the deepest parts there, it's done a great job of picking up the bulk of it. Now is this out? It'll be out in the next month. So next October. So November. November 2024, it's coming yeah. out. What is the price point going to be? Do you know? Retail's about 3500 So the carcher I mentioned earlier, retails about 4450 Oh, so you've got them beat in price yeah. and in functionality. Absolutely. And in the ability to swap batteries out. Absolutely. Adjusting and height. It's lighter. So this is 65 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but it's 38% lighter than the other things on the market. And it's a classical handle, so you fit it under your truck bed or up against your wall and your shop and stuff like that. So have the Karcher guys called you up and cried about this thing yet? Not yet, but I imagine it's coming soon. All right. <laughs> Go for it. Thanks, Brandon. Hey, no problem, Sam. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm with Ken, and you're one of the uh, marketing specialists here. And Makita has a program that not a lot of contractors actually know about. Will you walk me through what that is? Yeah, not only do we make market-leading technology products that solve pro solutions, we have great incentives for pro contractors, um, and one of those incentives is our e-rebates. Okay. So when you buy a tool at your authorized dealer, mm -hmm. any tool that's on an e-rebate, okay. um, then you turn the paperwork in through Makita.com, Okay. Okay, and then we will process that uh, free good and ship that free good directly to you. Okay, so it's not like an in-store thing. This is something that gets sent right out from corporate headquarters. Correct. Okay. Correct. It's easy. You can go to our website, learn all the details, and uh, see the value. You buy a combo kit, you get a, a, a free battery, 
the power cutter, you get two batteries off of 700 R value. But so, now is this a one and you're done or is this something that Makita kind of does ongoing throughout the year? They run different specials for contractors. That's right. We do this on a quarterly basis. You can set, see Makita.com uh, for our, our details. This one ends in November. Okay. How, yeah, how do guys find out more information on these things? Yeah, you can see us on Makita.com. Some of our dealers are out there promoting it. Uh, check us out. You'll find the, the uh, great deals for you uh, and great tools that solve problems. But this is something that you should really go to the website to find. Not, you won't see it in every store out there. Not every store that sells Makita tells people about this. Is that right? That's right. So that's why this is kind of that hidden secret that not all contractors know about and it could be a value that they're missing. Correct. That's a great, great, great point. So go to Makita.com and make sure, before you even buy a tool, go there and you'll find out if is there any specials or deals going on, if I'm understanding this correctly. Yes. The one, one key is that make sure you're buying from an authorized dealer so you can see that on the on the, on the the e-rebase page and uh, from there you're all set. So you can't buy it from a garage sale and then go, I want a free tool? That's right. All right. All right, let's keep looking for new cool tools. Thanks, Ken. All right, guys, we got the great Izzy Swan standing in the house with us. Izzy, how are you, my friend? Doing good, man. How are you? Go check out his channel. But we are looking at something new by Makita right here, and this is called? It's called our X-Defense system, that okay. current system. Okay. Tell me about this, will you, Robert? Sure. So basically, think of this as a programmer that allows you to take any XGT battery and tool that you've purchased, even in the last four years, any one since we launched the product, and anything you're going to buy in the future. It allows you to take this programmer and pin code the tool and or the battery together so that as long as they're programmed the same pin, they'll work. And if they're not, then they're not going to work with any other tool or any other battery. Wait a minute. Break that down for me again, Robert. What does sure. this mean? So this means with the purchase of one small programmer, you can take any tool or battery that you have in the XGT platform, tie them together so that they'll work. And if somebody happens to walk off with the tool and use it with another battery, it's not going to work. The tool is completely useless. Oh, but you don't need this. No. This is like a programming oh, stick. Exactly. Once you used it once, you can use it on the next one, the next one, but it does not require it on a daily exactly. basis. Exactly. Okay. So you're going to do it one time. But now it programs that. this battery to a tool and it can never be alternated and, and that tool can't be used so it's like a self-defense system exactly so but you can do multiple batteries multiple tools with the same pin or with different pins so you control your own inventory however many tools and batteries you have you decide how you want to do it now is there more to this system or did we just sum up the entire thing we basically summed up the entire thing the important part is you buy this one time you can use it on all your XGT tools and batteries there's no subscription there's no ongoing uses or you know need to use it or anything to do with it you plug it in you can you program it one time on the computer application and then from then on all you need to do is hook it up to your battery and your tool let it beep for a couple seconds move on to the next and that's a one-time thing that's it you just you box. like you literally legitimately just program that battery right there yep. that fast so now it's gonna work here right but with this battery it's not gonna work because they're not pinned this together the same uh, way ha, 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 ha. clever and clever. the important part is you own it so if somebody does walk off and they think they can just buy one another one of these off the shelf and reset everything you can't it's like resetting a password once the pin is locked in here you have to know that original pin to reset it yourself. Okay. So they can't just go buy another one of these off the shelf thinking they can reset all the tools. To and that'll work on every battery and tool every from XGT, currently? Every XGT battery in the last four years that they've already purchased since day one. Because what we're doing is tying in the technology that's already in the tool and the battery. Awesome. This all is right. just a programmer. This is not the actually doing the locking. This is just allowing you to program. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, thank you. Introduce me, or do you want to be introduced? You can. I already want to do it. Bro. All right, guys. That's Christian. How are you, Christian? I'm good, Stan. <laughs> How are you, brother? Glad you came by my booth today, man. Here to talk to you about our GOB01 CZ, our six-inch random orbit. You got any more numbers you could throw in there? Because uh, nobody numbers, knows man. what your numbers are anyway. That's so. all right. You can either you got to find a way to identify the tool, right? <laughs> all right. Besides, just look at it. But the reason why we came with a design here because we're so used to seeing Santa and look just like this. Yeah added weight on with the battery and even if it's not on the back it's underneath so what are you sacrificing here you're sacrificing most likely battery usage right because you can only put like a 2.0 or a 3.0 in there if you were to do that at best so we're away from all that we don't want to be like milwaukee or the wall we 
you want to replicate pneumatic power, 40% less vibration, 41% more power, 48 minutes of continuous sanding with our 4.0 XGT battery. So now you're looking like, okay, well, where's the battery at? It's connected by a cord, right? So I can put this battery anywhere I want. Weight distribution is huge. I can leave it there, or I can simply just clip it onto the back and leave it there and have all my room to continuously work around my material. Now, I even have an arm strap that you see here as well, right, Stan, right? Cores, right? We, no one likes cores getting in the way. What if I have to sand overhead? What if I have to sand underneath? I got free range of motion to do all that. All across my material, if I want to go underneath, if I want to sand on a wall, nothing prohibits that. Now, if you want to get slick and, you know, get a carabiner here to put right here on your, to, to remove the tube, you can. But that's not needed. We replicate pneumatic power with our tools. Now, this is an adapter then, Christian. Correct, correct, correct. Now, so will this plug into just this tool or is it other tools that it'll work with? This is the only tool that it works with for now. For now. For now. But this is absolutely needed because this is what your power source is. There's no cords that go into a wall. This is just strictly battery here. So when you get it out the tool, when you get it out the box, this is what you see right here, Stan. Exactly this. So can we expect to see this technology potentially coming to other Makita tools or are we too early in the game to forecast that far out? Makita's always innovating and we have thought very far ahead. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to this day. Reminds me of the Homer Simpson saying, it's been the worst day of your life so far. So far, baby. We're always figuring out ways to be you know, leaders in our market, innovators in our market as well too. So we're definitely, definitely going to incorporate a lot of the slim designs that you see here into our tools later on. Now, what does a unit like this weigh? 2.2 pounds. Now, you're also looking at this as like, you know, the slim profile. This is what we want. Slim profile, a lot easier to manage, a lot easier to control. This looks just like a Merc, right? But no paddle switch. We went with an electronic button, which is a lot easier. You know what, Stan? How do most people, how do guys most likely change their sandpaper on a tool like this? They sit it upside down. And you don't want a paddle switch for that. That's why we put an electric button on here so you can easily change your sandpaper, right? Besides that, it's 250 as a bare tool. Comes with this catcher as well too, in case you don't have the dust extract system, but you can get a dust extract system that we have for our tool as well too. So, performance for the professionals, whether you're a DIY, carpenter, wood trim carpenter, uh, it's great for you know sanding off or, or flattening finishing services, wood varnish, wood putty. Um, this is made for not just a professional, but for a DIYer as well. Thank you, Christian. So. <laughs> Tell me about this now. So this is our new GRM05 job site speaker. This okay. thing is an absolute beast. It'll go up to 99 dBA. You can hear it over all of your job site construction. Crystal clear. You can link them together. So you can link up to 10 of these together. So you can control it with the one master unit, play your phone off of there, and it'll control all the speakers on your job site if you want to. This thing is an absolute monster. You can use it as a PA system. It has a microphone. Wait a minute, for it. wait a minute, what? Use it as a PA system, so I think it's gonna be really handy. If you have a whole job site you're trying to talk to, plug it in, you're not gonna get all that feedback and all that jumbledness when you get it so up. So if, if I'm working, I got my crew working in a building like this, would 10 of these be able to span a, a distance as big as that? Oh, much further, yeah. Much further? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can and spread them out. Um, I won't say you enlist it, just spread them out as much as you want. So then the boss can then grab one of the radios, go on it and go, Hey, we need uh, we need you know X over here and that over there, and, and then everybody can hear it. Absolutely, yep, absolutely. Dude, and but yet yeah, it's dual platform, so you can run it on LXT 18 volt batteries or the 40 volt Max XGT batteries, or you can even you know plug it in AC if you wanted to. So you can run it on anything that you've got. From when does it come out? It's out as of today. It's out on the market, available for purchase right now. What is the price point? Uh, they're retail for $259. Or, I'm sorry, $249. Awesome. Thanks. Anywhere. Thanks, Robert. Yeah. Okay, so this is new, Everado. So this launches uh, Q1 of next year. Okay. Uh, so we're just giving you a sneak peek today. Okay, well, tell me about this then. So the, the claim to fame on this impact wrench, this is going to be in the 40 volt platform, is that it has the power of a three quarter inch impact wrench, but in a half inch square drive. Nope. 
Say that again. The power of a what? The power of a three-quarter inch. Yeah. In a half-inch drive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe you're a little bit stronger than me. Why do you get to pull that off? Oh, I just to show you the, the, the square drive, the half inch. Oh, you don't think we'd believe you? <laughs> I believe them. Okay. All, All right. right. Take my word for it. I'm then. taking your word for it. All right. Now, what's key here is the different uh, speed settings. Okay. Right? We have four. But we also have different modes. So we have uh, four speed settings, three in, in forward and three in reverse. Okay. And, and what that's going to allow us to do is in mode one, once it starts impacting, it'll stop. It'll give you better control of, of your fastener. And we can demonstrate that now or we can just walk you through this. Walk me through them first. Right. And the other mode is reverse two. Once it starts impacting, it'll stop after about half a second. And in three, once it starts impacting, it'll keep going to about a full second, and then it'll stop. Okay. However, in reverse, if we put it in reverse, once you start uh, 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 using the impact wrench, it'll stop after it breaks the nut loose. It'll okay, stop. okay. And then on two, it'll go for about half a second after it breaks the nut loose. And what this is allowing you to do is to have more control of your, your nut as you're backing it up. And on three, it'll break it loose, but it'll walk it back slowly. So you even have better control over your fast. That's pretty cool. That's the, so I, I, I had no clue what I was getting into when I came over here, Everado. Um, and I was expecting you to say that it'll stop once it breaks free, but the ability to then slow down and to continue to so demonstrate it, will you? So let's do the, the, the forward. Okay. Okay. So let's put it in mode one. Okay. Again, once it, it impacts once or twice, it'll stop. Okay. That was it. You stopped it. Your finger was still on. I seen it. Yep. Okay. And in two. Okay. Watch his finger, boys. It'll go for about half a second after it impacts. Okay. In three, it'll go for a full second after it starts to impact. Okay. And in reverse, once it breaks it loose, once it stops impacting, it'll stop. Okay. On two, once it stops impacting, it'll go for a half a second. Okay. On three, a little bit different. It's gonna, once it stops impacting, it'll walk the fastener back slowly until I take my finger off the trigger. Got it. That is sick. I don't even use impacts that much, but that is sick. Because when I use them, that's nice. Uh, hey, when does this come out? What is the price point, Everado? I don't know about the price point yet, but this launches Q1 of next year. Awesome. All right. Thank you, sir. Hey right, Tyler, what are we looking at? How's it going guys? I'm Tyler Brown, the Associate Product Manager for Outdoor Power Equipment. And today we have our multi-port chargers to be able to show you guys. So here on the left we have our 12 ports, the BCC-01, and on the right we have our 8 port, our BCC-02. So this is really the charging solution for those guys that have so many batteries that they need to be able to charge them. Right? And we really wanted to highlight the capabilities of this, these charging uh, boxes by showcasing our charging center here. Okay. So this charging center will charge uh, 40 plus slide style batteries and 12 PVC batteries in a single night with two circuits, right? So these charging boxes, you can actually pair four of them on a single 15 amp circuit and be able to charge 48 or 32 batteries respectively in a 
single night. Now, is this new or has this been out? So the BCC01 we showcased at World of Concrete earlier this year, but I think it really it really resonates a lot more showing showing it in this sense, right? So being uh, with outdoor power equipment, this is kind of my baby. I really wanted to be able to highlight for those landscapers how they can get through an entire set of batteries in a single day. So this represents essentially a four truck lands fleet landscaping crew. Each one of these shelves is a single fleet landscaper, okay? So they have their slide style batteries, they have their backpack batteries for their blowers or their mowers, and it's just really simple. Digital timer, it's plugged into an outlet. This is running to all of those inverters in the back and they're plugging into the batteries. All of this will charge at once, okay? As soon as it transitions and all of these are completed, it'll switch over to the next one. It's simple, guys, it doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be crazy. And this will be able to do it in a single night, replicating that modern day gas tank. Five person landscaping crew, this shelf. Yes. Four person, this shelf. Six. And then a five person arborist crew. You really have it dialed right down. And this is this setup, when you have it like this, you guarantee that they, a guy will get an all day run. Oh yeah, absolutely. Without absolutely. without anything else, so they yeah. they plug this in at Tomorrow. night, and five people are going to be able to work all day long. Yeah, without... string trimmers, hedge trimmers, mowers, blowers, everything that they're going to be using can be utilized here. Without going back and recharging. No, no. So that's the thing, right? Or the standard gas legacy is to have the gas that you're going to need for the day, right? Yeah. And so we wanted to replicate that. Take the batteries that you need for the day. That's what we have here. Good deal, good to know. That's interesting the way you broke that down. All right, thanks right. Tyler. Absolutely, thank you man. Fernando, what are we looking at? Hi everybody, we are looking at our new XGT 3x21 belt sander. So this is so new that it's dropping right now, is that correct? No, this is so new that it's not dropping into Q1 of 2025. Oh, okay. So this is kind of a sneak peek. Yes, definitely. Got it, got it. So what makes this special then? Well, we have our legacy belt sander here that it has a lot of uh, good feedback and it is very powerful. So our goal was to take this and make it a cordless version. Obviously, it's a it's a major milestone in terms of the power efficiency and everything that this 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 bad boy does. We we did that and we exceeded expectations. Not only do we have the brushless motor capability of power, but we also have 20% more efficient sanding time than versus our corded version of the sander. We have a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of unique features of it. So I'll discuss them when you're ready. I'm ready. All right. This is you, all okay, you, Fernando. Okay, so the very first thing we want to talk about is AWS capability. As you guys are working inside, you guys don't want dust all over the place. So it's connected via Bluetooth. So we go ahead and hit the trigger. And the Bluetooth goes on. So you don't have to hit the trigger here. Lean sideways and, hit the, and try to hit the trigger. It's connected. Okay. The second thing I want to talk about is the adjustability of this front handle. So. As you guys can see, it's not adjustable. You only can put, put so much weight on it. This gives you a couple of uh, uh, unique features that you guys can do. The first one is if you go into the end, you can sand flush. You can move the handle out of the way where other ones, uh, other brand products or brands have it out this way and it make, this stops it. The other thing that's really cool and we'll get into this a little bit later is you guys can put it this way. You can put a lot of pressure on the belt sander itself, and you can flip it upside down for a standalone belt sander. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So then you can flip it up and you can <coughs> sand yep, on top. Exactly. Okay. So we'll sell an accessory that goes into here. It's those broad clamps. And just like your standard clamps, you can clamp it into your workspace. On top of that, we'll have this guardrail and a stop that will be uh, screwed onto this. And now you have a second version of how you can utilize the tool. Okay, is there more to it or did There's we... more to it. Okay. So we have a five speed adjustable uh, belt speed. Okay. So depending on how fast you want to go or how much material you want to remove, you can adjust to that. It's super easy to replace your uh, belt sanders. Clamp it, you can also adjust your belt, your belt to this here.
we put the battery in the front for weight distribution and effect and efficiency. I know that some of them feel heavy, heavier than they really are, is because of the ergonomics. But I think if, in terms of taking this into a wireless or cordless platform, I think we've done an amazing job. Uh, okay, did we cover it all now, Fernando? Yes, sir. Awesome. And Q1 of 2025? Yes, sir. Awesome. All right. And do you know a price point by any chance? We haven't identified that, but we will try to be competitive as close as possible to our existing content. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Mario, your booth is about this battery and the technology that goes into it because this is brand new by Makita. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So tell me about that. No problem. What we're introducing here is our new BL4040F tablet cell battery within the XGT lineup. If you take a step back and you think about what we have in XGT, we've had our 2.5, our 4.0, our 5.0, and 8 amp hour battery. Really the line share is the 4.0 and, and 2.5 are our handheld products and surf saws. Okay. And then our 5.0 has always, and 8.0 has always delivered more power overall. So what we found with tablet cell technology is that we're able to create this more powerful gap within the 4 and 5. So it delivers up to 35% more power than our standard 4 amp hour battery. Okay. So, which is the nice part about it is that it's equivalent to the power range of our 5 amp hour battery without the burden of the added weight that 5 does. So if you think about a form factor perspective, same weight, same form factor as a 4, 35% more power, which is equivalent to our 5 amp hour. So battery. same power and performance as this, same size and weight you as this, it. and you're saying tab less less tab less you tab got it. less tab, tab so less. that that is your improvement on that battery absolutely now a guy can instantly upgrade any one of his 40 volt tools by going to this battery yeah so it has a broad range of optimization so maybe on an impact driver the tablet cell will give you more runtime better efficiency on a circuit saw you get the benefit of more power Runs cooler, longer runtime. So overall, there's just so many added benefits by upgrading. To now you have a Cirque saw out here. Absolutely. What are we going to see? What am I looking for when I watch you work? So what Mario? I want to show you today is I want to watch, show you the experience of our ten and a quarter inch Cirque saw with a 4040 battery. Okay. I'm gonna do a rip cut and simulate into this four by material. It's actually two stacked two by two by twelves in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna switch over to the five amp hour battery. You're gonna see an added power ratio, and then from the four to the five within the rip cut. And last but not least, I'm going to plug in the new EL4040F tablet cell battery. And you're going to see how that performs overall. So we've got three. Yes, sir. Three cuts that you're going to do. Okay. Yes, sir. Good, better, best. Good, exactly. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. So I'm going to start you off here. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to switch you. Oh, Let's okay. get the 4050 out. You're going to see that power and that RPM pop up. I'm going to switch you up and I'm going to show you the performance of the new BL4040F tablet cell battery. You can actually hear the higher RPMs in it and that's all just from the battery amazing, itself. Huh? Yeah. When does this battery come out then? It launches in our website today and then it's going to be available in the market within the next 30 days. Really excited to add it to the platform. Well, do you know what a price point for this battery is? We're about $259. So what it's is, right in between our BL4040, which is, sells for $229, and our BL4040F, 4050F that sells for $299. So it's right in between. Okay. And is this the only size this comes in? Currently the only size it comes in, but as we know, we're looking to advance it into other sizes as well. Okay. Thank you, Mario. No problem. Thank you. No video could be complete without a video, including an impact. So tell me about this, Everardo. What makes this new, unique, special? So this is our uh, most recent addition to our impact driver lineup. This particular model is the 18 volt. And there's a few things that your viewers may notice is different. So here's the previous generation that we have for comparison purposes. We removed the LED lights on this one. We remove the phosphorescent bumper as well. And in its place now, we have an LED ring light. Okay. And what that allows us to do, or that allowed us to do, was to make this uh, body here a little bit smaller. So we narrowed it down some. 
Is there a difference in weight or performance? The motor's the same, performance the same, weight is virtually the same. And the other thing that we did is we removed the control panels, again, see that. previous generation, yep. and we pushed them back here. Okay. And what that allows us to do is to, to give the, the operator of this impact driver better visibility and access to their controls, instead of having to do this number, having to mess around with the buttons here. Now, the other thing that this allowed us to do was because we, we shifted the control panels back here, we were able to push the handle a little bit forward. Now it's a, a perfectly balanced. I didn't think that there was anything wrong with the balance on this one, but having these two side by side, I can tell that that was perfectly balanced. Is there a difference in weight? Because I can't tell a difference in weight. Well, so far what we've been hearing is that, that the perception is that it is life but because it's balanced. But there really, there is no difference. <laughs> it just ergonomically feels better. Yes. So, so that's making, given the perception that it's a, oh yeah, it kind of does. That's weird. It's got a weird feel. It does feel. I'm not a diva about this stuff, but I will say I noticed this stuff. Frankie's a diva when it comes to, Frankie's my right hand man, right? And he is a diva when it comes to it, but I don't blame him because he's using these things all day long. This is his goal. Mine's a, mine's a skid loader or, you know, something like that. His is a power tool. So if you guys are picky about your power tools, this is the new upgrade by Makita in their impact. Thanks, Everado. Thank you. All right. Now we've got a demonstration waiting for us over here. Tommy's a cooking over here. Tommy, what do we got going on, buddy? Hey, we got our brand new LXT 18 volt, 21 degree frame and nailer. Okay. It's what everybody's been asking for for a very long time. Yes, they have. Yeah, so we've made a lot of refinements. Again, putting it out right the first time. Okay. Uh, again, one of the biggest questions we get on any cordless tool is runtime. How much runtime are we gonna get? Yeah. Uh, so we've improved that by 25% versus leading competitor. So a thousand uh, nails on a single charge with a five amp hour battery. So you're not using a massive battery, you're using this. That's right. And getting a thousand. Yep, three quarter inch by 0 0.131. Okay. Now, even with our two amp hour, you're still getting 400. So still not bad, so if you want to reduce that weight. Okay. Now, the biggest complaint on framers, cordless, is weight. Yep. So we've able to been able to get a little weight out versus the leading competitor by 0.7 pounds. If you want to go a little more, a little over a pound less, you use the two amp hour, so even a little less weight. So is there any lighter battery powered framing nailer on the market that you know of, Tommy? Not that I know of. Okay. Uh, but again, I'd have to do some, some But you're terms. comparing, your, you're not comparing yourself to everybody, you're only comparing yourself to the best uh, other option out there, is that right? That is correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Good to know. So also has a little less recoil, and then in our uh, air mechanism, uh, the high compressed air mechanism inside, mm -hmm. we made it a little more durable. Okay. So when you think about what are we providing, longer runtime, a little less weight, less recoil, more durability. And are you going to do a demonstration? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. We'll do it with a 5 amp hour. Uh, again, to get this started, a couple of just side notes as far as nails. I'll have to get some nails real quick. It does have a dry fire mechanism, so that way you're protecting it because when that piston comes down, you don't want it hitting on mm -hmm. nothing, yep. doing that dry fire. Um, also, you have a very nice aggressive claw on the end, so if you're doing toe nailing, that type of application, you have toolless depth adjustment, um, have belt clip on the front, and also rafter hook on the side. Okay. And let me grab some nails real quick. So very easy for nail installation. Push that down. You're ready to go. That is fast. So power. Power up. Start some bump fire. But we're gonna do it in bump fire mode right here. Alright. He's right. having too much fun. So we're talking about those claws. Getting an angle. Huh. When does this come out, do you know? Q1. Q1. Price point, do you know? It's going to be competitive in that in the same market. So, price comparison. Thank you, Tommy. All right, thanks, Is sir. that everything? Yes, sir. That's Thank it. you.
All right, guys, before we let you go, Robert and I are gonna go through the show to make sure we didn't miss anything. So in the outdoor booth, we have the entire setup over there. Yep, we have all OP out there. Concrete hammers. Yep. Saw, the new nine inch yep. saw. Power cutters. The new broom. Yep, new sweeper, or the router. The, pl the plunge router. Yep. Okay, and then in here is the new toolbox system. Yep, the Mac track system. We have just two different setups here, different trucks. Okay, so we've got everything in here. And this is where we got to see the initial demonstration where you compared and contrasted on how you built your innovation. So there's nothing we missed over there though, right? right. Okay, so as we come in here. And here we have our new cutoff tool. Cutoff tool. Our, our you know, multi-cut tool. Yep. We have our new framing nailer. Okay, framing nailer. Here we have our new half inch impact wrench. Okay, half inch impact wrench with Everado. Our new, and our new impact driver. Got it, okay. Ran a more mobile sander. With the tether system and, yep. and Christian and Sarah Listy. Absolutely. And we have our extra C belt sander. Okay, that's new coming out with the new handle that'll flip upside down. Here we have our new charging station. Yep. Extra C and LXC batteries. Okay. Fully set up. We have our outside speaker, we talked about earlier. Okay. And our X Defense full management. Okay, X Defense. And then out here we have our new tabless battery. 4040F. And that covers everything new by Makita. Absolutely. Everything that's uh, hitting the market here soon and in the next quarter, everything was ready to show you guys. So thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I think we got it all. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know it's a longer video, but you know what? I don't care anymore. I want to show it to you the way I find it. I'm done with editing this stuff down, trying to put it into the convenient format that YouTube wants me to do it in 12 to 15 bite size, 12 to 15 minute bite size chunks. And I want to put it in one spot so you just got it all there and you're not like, oh, did I, I didn't see that or I don't know about this. I want to bring you guys everything just the way I see it. So I hope that I accomplished that today. If I did, I think that's worth a thumbs up, but you guys let me know will you and that's it for this one god bless you guys go get them and i hope makita has another event like this it's been about eight years since the last one so uh, these are always fun to cover they really are all of the different events i go to and it's fun to bring you guys along so that's it for this one i'm gonna go in and grab some lunch i'm the last one to eat but that's no surprise and uh i hope whatever you're doing turns out great god bless and go get them you guys is there any food left? Tons of food! Woo! See you guys later.